Atari Ser Star Series match. As the Green Terran. For the Alpha Ducklings. One point on the board. It's Claire. It's in the top left. Up second. For the CTL Cuties. As the Pink Zerg. From Born Gosu. It's Physics Noob. Two very strong teams in the league. CTL Cuties. Grabbing the might of the Physics Noob. He may be new to the realm of physics. However, he is a pretty dominant force in the game of StarCraft. We're going to see that reflected here today, I think. Now, Centauri Star Series, you guys know the drill if you've been following the season, but if you're uh, not part of the CSS or just tuning in, it's going to be three Pro League format games, the first of which was played uh, off-stream. This is match two of the Pro League section. And then we go into an all-kill, so we will always reach the all-kill. It's effectively a best, seven, a best of seven. Each team fields three players in that Pro League section, and they are stuck with those players as they head into the all-kill. So uh, we're going to see... If the Alpha Ducklings can get a 2-0 lead. Or if the CTL Cuties can even things up. Player. It's a full SCV scout. Now, Physics Noob has a storied history here. Uh, in the Diamond Team League, he was the number one rated player in Season 2. He went borderline undefeated for many, many weeks, had multiple all kills, and was just an all around monster. Very few players have the honor of saying they've been able to defeat Physics Noob. Uh, myself not included in that number, despite playing him several times. Claire. I think has been doing pretty well in the season. Uh, I haven't followed him too closely, but... He's gonna go ahead and get up a starport. It is in close proximity to this tech lab, but... I don't know. It might swap on, it might not. Um, time will tell. He is mining off of two gas, and he has quite a bit of gas in the bank. It's almost making me think it's not going to be stim. Okay, he's clicking. He's clicking both buildings. And it is going to be a tech lab on the starport. This could go a number of ways. Okay, alright. It can't anymore. It's going to be a fusion core, and it's going to be BC out of Claire. Physics gets a third. It's so, uh just a little bit late, I think. Claire isn't gonna do anything with these Hellions. The Queen Defense is in position to defend. BC started up for Claire here. Others. Uh, okay. Links are going to try to get a wrap around. It was very close, but no cigar. Uh, two of the Hellions do get picked off, but a lot of the Links get toasted as well. Physics Noob, you're going to have to spend more larva on Zerglings. Claire is started up in the main. But. Banelings with speed, not going to be the most helpful against Battlecruisers. Uh, which speed is almost certainly the first tech he's going to go for here. 
if the battle cruiser hasn't shown itself uh, yet by the time he makes that choice, might be going, well, the battle cruiser's almost finished. Yeah, well, uh, Claire Prop maybe is going to walk it across instead of blinking forward. That'd be a little bit safer. Okay, there's still there. Physics Noob catches wind of this. He's probably going to drop a spire. That was a nice hit on the queen. Oh, they spent all their energy on creep tumors. That's not going to leave a lot of transfuse. And Claire did go for the blink. Where is it? Where's the BC? Okay, it went right in the main. Uh, one queen to defend. There are no spore crawlers. There is a spore at the third, so... Okay, one drop there. BC is 1v1ing the queens. Here comes the squad, though. It's like Dragon Ball Z. This is all, like, the side characters coming up to face the bad guy, and he's knocking them down, and now they need to bring... Uh, Goku back from the dead, which is going to be the Spire, but no Spire in production yet for Physics Noob. He's going for Roaches. Is he going to try to pressure the wall here? I think the answer might be yes, as the Queens melt one by one. Physics Noob down to a single Queen. Uh, he does have some more Spores up to defend. Finally dropping a Spire. Ooh, he loses a couple Roaches. One queen gets evaporated. The BC should have teleport off cooldown. It's gonna have to do it quick though. Oh, it's gonna run away actually. This is a bold move, but the queen's not gonna patch or uh, catch up. And another BC links into the natural. Claire getting bio out behind this. Every queen that drops here is 150 minerals gone. And this BC damage is all repairable. Oh my god. No, no, no. Cancel, cancel, cancel! He, ah! he didn't cancel. Player. Absolutely demolishing Physics Noob right now. Can Physics turn it around? He's only up a single drone. He's still on three base as Claire moves out his third. A lot of creep tumors getting picked off. Feels bad about that one, but uh, some of this creep out here in the middle will clean up, I think. Yeah? It, it might still be good coverage. Oh yeah, see, look. Very small amount. Hurt up. Physics Noob supply block from that Overlord going down, and he's got to figure out what he wants to do here. The Spire is finished, but Corruptor Count is going to be very low for a very long time. Only one hitting the field now. Uh, infantry weapons are about to hit as the Sling run by crashes in. Okay, there's some Banelings here as well. The Roaches move forward. No Metabacks to support the Marines, but they're gaining uh, quite a bit of DPS. And these Roaches are on a timer. The Corruptor Count is not high enough to engage these battle cruisers. It's just a matter of how much damage can the roaches do on the ground before the bcs clean them up okay that was the final bane link gets a good connection um 15 scds do go down here but the worker count still pretty even the tank picks were pretty nice is it enough from physics noob though he lost all his corruptors here there's still three bcs now medivacs are out the marine counts rising Claire is at an upgrade advantage. Physics trying to get out more corruptors. Banelink speed started up here. Or the physical move. It's getting some Banelinks. Claire is going for a bio tank battle cruiser push. Physics creep spread is really good. So uh, that's going to help him. Two of the BCs blink out, one stays with the army. Physics pulls back the corruptors. We'll get a kill on this BC. In the meantime, the other BC wreaking havoc in the main gets a shot. Corruptors not even needed to deal with this one. Spore crawlers cleaned it up just fine. Uh, Wood of Mines back at home to defend for Physics Noob, get, or, uh, to defend Claire against any errant 
Ling run by us from Physics Noob. Queens pick the Metabax out of the sky. Claire. Pushing in. The Queens get melted. The Marines are going to go to town on the Corruptors, softening him up. And there's so much more production behind this for Claire. He can totally afford to lose all these units, and he will. But here's round two. Physics Noob has to find a way to deal with this. Just going to morph in 13 Bane Links. 30 more Links. Some of those Links are going to die right as they pop out of the eggs. Uh, that was a little bit of an unfortunate Wood of Mine shot. Bio gets kind of cut apart and taken down. But Claire's still trading semi-efficiently. Certainly not uh, like MLG or anything, but... Claire's still doing well, and Physics will lose his fourth once again. Corruptors trying to pick off the Metabax, which is the only thing they can do. They're going to uh, succeed at picking one off. They shouldn't get the second one. GG is called. Claire takes a 2-0 lead in favor of the Alpha. In the top left corner, for the Alpha Ducklings here on Simulacrum, as the Illiteran, it's Mystic. And in the bottom right, as the Teal Zerg. I almost said for the Blades of Ren. Please kill me. Okay, for the CTL cuties, it's Nubius. Nubius is a former Knight of Ren, but uh, not not playing for the Blades. So, Nubius gonna open with a hatch first. Very honorable macro Zerg play. Mesidic going for a Reaper expand. Very honorable Acro Terran play. Ooh. Nubius has his Overlord rallied for an early scout. Interesting. Gas pool drop for the Zerg. Alpha Ducklings are up 2 to 0. This is our third. Pro League match. So, win or lose after this game, well, whether or not the Alpha Ducklings win or lose uh, after this game, we are going into the all kill section. It's it's not really an all kill, it's sort of an all kill. But, we will see a maximum of two players, I think. I think this is how the math works. Uh, from the CTL cuties, trying to win that all kill. As the Alpha Ducklings struggle to get either their last two or their last remaining point. It's it's basically two matches in one, but the first team to four points takes the victory. So Factory going down here for Mesidic. One drone turns into an extractor. Another one picked off. Oh, a spine crawler from Nubius. Okay. That might have been a panic spine. Or it could be used later to deflect Talions uh, if he's going to make a two base play. Okay, he lets the extractor finish. This is making me think he's going to go two base Muta or something. Wait a minute. Eight wings. Reaper hops into the main. Queen is here to intercept. Reaper backs out. Reaper pokes in. Reaper pulls out.
poor overlord running for its life. As the marine to everything he can to limit the supply of the Zerg. Maybe softening it up for future engagements. The Liberator coming out next for Mesidic. As Hellions head to the front, along with the surviving Reaper, a huge supply block goes off um, and will delay the next wave of Hellions from going out. You really want to push in uh, with six pretty soon here. But that push is going to be delayed. Uh, they should be hitting like as the Liberator sieges up in the main, and that's simply not going to happen on time. Acidic backs up to mid-map. Nubius injecting away. They've got more queens. Uh, he already has some defensive lings out. I think he could deal with it. You know what? He has the spine at the front, so this should be fine. Acidic packs the rocks for good measure. But our yellow Terran is going into bio behind this. Magnet, uh, Mystic is playing for the Alpha Ducklings. Nubius is playing for the CTL Cuties. Acidic. Being a Hellion run by ready. Liberator sieged up in the main. Again, this is heavily delayed, but uh, it's happening, I guess. Three drones to go down. Uh, Mesidic would hope for more damage. Drones can go back to mining. They haven't been pulled back yet, so this is kind of significant damage. Secures the natural against the Erentlings, but those Zerglings did more damage than the Liberator did. I mean, technically, if you don't count the lost mining time. But Evo Chambers at the front, Baneling Nest being dropped for Nubius. He's preparing for defense against his oncoming bio. A lot of Hellions still in the mix for Mesidic are going to help out against the Lings moving forward. Defending the tank line and all that, or they can go for the run by. Uh, Nubius has seen all this happening, and he has plenty of time to prepare. He's not, though. Got up a fourth. Okay. Well, uh, for reasons we may never know, Acidic decides to not go for the run by. It totally would have just like it had the potential to end the game uh, with this undefended third base, but didn't happen. So Nubius gonna have 40 links out. Uh, he has time to morph main links. His early forces are exposed here. Nubius's links have popped. Metavax meet up with the frontal forces. Transuse does not go on the queen, so they're not able to tank too much damage. Links move in, but there's no Banelings here. So a lot of them will go down, trading out for medevac energy. Nubius cancels the fourth. He gets a macro hatch in the main. Overlord gets picked off. Mesidic moves in, guns down the queen. Wings go down as well. One Evo Chamber falls. Second Evo Chamber falls. Gas goes down. Prayer says, man with guns. That That is indeed a lot of man with guns. And it looks like Nubius's last shreds of defense are going to melt here as Mesidic 
takes a third victory for the Alpha Ducklings. GG. In the bottom left. Up once again for the Alpha Ducklings. As the purple Protoss, it's if I were a soup. And in the top right corner, as the ace player for the CTL cuties, it's Physics Noob. Physics, as I mentioned earlier in the series, is known for his all kills. If there's anyone to do it, it's going to be Physics Noob. But he needs to do it and then some to take this match for the CTL cuties. And we have a cannon rush on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. If I were a soup, drops the first cannons. Physics Noob pulls three drones. It's gonna cancel the gnat. We expand down here, but there's a pylon on the high ground. A cannon placed right around here could cover these mineral patches. Physics abandoned the low grounds. Soup just going with a conservative one cannon in the gateway. So this is probably maybe gonna be proxy robo two spines for the physics noob he pulls the drones gets us around on one of the cannons but this is not enough to shut both down in time lings however are going to help out and that will be enough to shut both these cannons down on time if i were a soup has lost the high ground there goes the second cannon and this pylon will fall soon as well but we're also seeing a second gateway being proxied Spines are up to defend for Physics Noob. And that means this third on the low ground is safe as well. Now, Physics Noob has a bunch of interesting choices to make, and it looks like he's made it. So you can go Banelings, or you can go Ravager against this. He is going for the Roach Warren. He needs a second gas, though, as soon as humanly possible. He's sending out the Lings, but there is a full wall off back at home for if I were a soup. Gets up the cannon. Cybercore with more and more health as the seconds pass, and Physics is not going to be able to break this wall with four lings, uh, given that the cannon is up and operational. Now, Physics isn't producing roaches yet. Okay, there's the first one. Needs to get these out fast. Stalkers are going to come quick. They're going to come hard. Interesting choice by Soup to not proxy Robo just yet. And instead, spend some gas on these stalkers. Alright, there's the robo. Ravager on the high ground. Or the physics noob. It's gonna move the spines to the low ground. Power soup. It's gonna move forward the stalkers, but he's not gonna be able to break the spines. Until these shield batteries finish. The shield batteries finish. And that means the Stalkers are going to be able to engage this for quite a while. The Spines are trying to take down the Shield Batteries. Uh, one can heal the other if need be, though. Physics is making his play to overrun the Proxy. The first Shield Battery has fallen. Soup decided not to heal it. Uh-oh. F's in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. We have a disconnect.
Did my Ameno make Quare reconnect? It looks like not. This is the part where, like, we pan around the map as it's frozen, and I'm like, oh, I hit the Windows key. Rip. It's gonna be fine. She's he's uh so disconnecting. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places. Okay. Where's gone? Insert your crabs. And Physics Noob has a really good angle on this robotics facility. If I were soup, it's gonna let the robo die. It doesn't have much of a choice right now. That's gonna soften up this push pretty much immediately. Physics Noob can actually just go across the map and kill uh, soup, but that would leave his base a little bit open, so he wants to take out the stalkers first, I think. If I were a soup, it's just straight up getting overrun. I, I'd like to hype it up, but it's not gonna happen. GG is called Physics Noob. What's the first? On the right side of the Golden Wall. As the Green Terran. Up second in the all kill for the Alpha Ducklings. It's Claire. It's on the left side. Trying to pull off the all kill plus one. It's Physics Noob. Physics getting the first point. For the CTL cuties. Claire. If he wins this game, he's going to take the match for his team. Physics. Uh, has an interesting scouting pattern, I'm guessing, designed to root out proxies. So, first overlord. Where is the first overlord headed? It should be... Okay, it's probably straight in here. Um, Claire? Dropping the second CC, just a standard Reaper opener from the Terran. My question here is, does Physics Noob get cheeky? TVZ on Golden Wall can be very interesting. Uh, Clem seems to like to pick a base and then stake everything on that base, whether it be the Zerg's third, the Zerg's fourth, whatever. Just hit it with Biomine the entire time. Uh, a lot of players that I see on this map, and a lot is like... Rip that SCV. Um, not very many. I've... Between playing and casting on this map, out of the many, many hundreds of games uh, that I play and cast, I've only played and casted combined 80 on Golden Wall. So, uh, based on that small sample size, uh, players like Bly, players like 3DB, tend to play on this map uh, for the Zerg side of things against Terran. But they usually, like, proxy hatch, they cheese the gold base, um, they they go Roach Nidus, or they go Swarm Host Nidus. Uh, some really unconventional styles against the Terran. That Roach Nidus in particular is facilitated by the fact that there's only one way into the Zerg base for the early game Reaper. So scouting is a little bit hard for the Terran uh, to get the drone counts and to make it into the main. Because they have to break this entrance and a Zerg that doesn't want to get scouted can just pull the queens down there, put the links in the middle, and deny, deny, deny. Claire rallies the Hellions, sending them in.
bear. Picks off a tumor, picks off a couple lings, but no great damage done to the zerg. Italians come in again. A queen gets roasted. This isn't great for physics noob. Okay, he's gonna get out roaches, but losing those queens was a little bit of a blow. Physics running around some lings along the right side, and this is not a full wall off. However, uh, these four hellions gonna be more than enough to take care of these guys. I think they almost would have been better served waiting for the roaches to come up, but they did scout the two banshees. So maybe Physics can pull off the attack and save some Roach lives. Ooh. Okay, it looks like he wants to trade these out. Uh, Claire would probably be better served running away with the Hellions. I think he realizes that too. Uh, he's going to back out and then continue forward at another angle. Now Physics Noob is committed to attacking the wall. I thought he would turn around and go home. Okay, he's going to do a little bit of both. Uh, he's not even going to get a supply depot here. and not even going to light it on fire. He needs to rush home and defend. This is way too many Hellions uh, to lock down any amount of links or queens. Hellbats morph in. They're picking off isolated roaches. They're going to go in on the queen. And Physics Noob ultimately is going to prevent any drone damage from happening. Uh, so Physics... Okay, you know what? The Reaper snuck in the backside and is making it worth it. Making it value. I think Physics <laughs> was confused there for a second. He's like, what the hell? Dropping drones. Um, does pick off that Reaper finally. Banshee's picking off a couple of drones as well. Actually, a little bit more than a couple. Eight going down so far. Uh, spores will zone this errant banshee out likewise in the natural these guys might try to take on the queen together in fact they will Well, the Banshees kept Physics Noob at home. They uh, got their fair share of Roach kills. They got their fair share of Drone kills, but their era of dominance is over. Physics is going to be allowed to drone once again. Claire loads up the double medevac, zooms out, physics, going into spire. Eight more lings, another roach. Uh, this, I mean, it's going to slightly delay some mining time, but I, I guess this is as secure a location as could ever be for that spire. We'll see if it survives this drop, though. Here it comes. Claire reaches the main. Queen goes down right away. Infestation pit under fire as well. It gets picked off, not cancelled. Link's getting picked off one at a time. Zix is rushing to defend. Uh, he's not focusing the tanks. He's focusing the marines. That still might turn out okay for the reinforcements here. These links are going to get in on the tanks pretty quickly if they pop on mass, but fortunately for that pair, they weren't. Yeah, you gotta run in in a line. Okay, they make it to the tanks before the shots go off. Both tanks gone, the marines are cleaned up as well. So, a lot went down here for Physics Noob, but he's not dead. Two drones uh, were all the economic damage he suffered, some damage on the lair. Uh, he needs to go back to mining gas. Fully off of the top one, and at all off the bottom one. This is a nice one ling run by as it picks off the SUV, goes to town on the hatchery, but another push coming in from Claire up to the north. Lings run in. 
Uh, Trance used this not drop before that queen died. The medevac escapes with a little health. And the queen did not target fire it down. That's going to make these marines a lot more tanky, and it might cost Physics Noob the hatchery if he's not careful. Okay, you know what? That might be a little bit of an exaggeration. I don't know that Claire has an... Okay, well, the reinforcements are helping. Okay, they turn around. What a wild ride, but they come in one at a time. So many twists and turns. Claire stims in again. Less than half the health remaining. Every tank shot taking off pretty much an entire unit of that health. Links finally get in to clean this up, though. Another two tanks get picked off on the low ground. Uh, Claire, a single worker ahead, but also, like, 50 army supply ahead. Another drop entering the main picks off the spore. The spire never really paid off at all for Physics Noob. It's going to get burnt down, and the lair is going to follow. Banelings are not going to hatch in time if Clara targets this lair. Okay, the lanes run in, but the lair does go down. Banelings roll forward. They should be able to clean up here. Physics starts up another lair, but it's going to be a long way away. Uh, this is going to open up a lot of options for Clara. If she, if he takes it into the late game... Oof. Okay, those were great Baneling connections, but GG is called! Clara! Takes the series. 4-1 to one in favor of the Alpha Ducklings. A great try there by the CTL cuties, but ultimately, Alpha Ducklings proved too strong. Thank you guys so much for watching.